In talking about images, and digital images in particular, we're faced with uh, this or that sort of proposition. When we look at these images, we see two toilets. Now, one of these toilets represents a piece of art that changed art, and the other is just part of uh, the, you know, what you'd find in a bathroom. I think it's pretty obvious when we look at this, that based on sort of the context, the one that's on the left is in black and white. Um, it looks like it's on some sort of a pedestal. The one on the right looks like it's in a bathroom. Um, it's pretty obvious that the one on the left is the, is the work of art. And in fact, it's the fountain by Marcel Duchamp. So what is it that makes these two different? And how can we tell by looking at the images? So moving on to this, uh, I've got two images here. And one of them is art, and the other is not. Um, and that's based on the fact that uh, the one on the left was created by uh, an artist by the name of Togrisel and is an evolving collage that, uh, that in the state that we're looking at it in currently is just one of the states that it, was, that it has been in. This is, um, if, you, if you go to the website that's listed here, you can uh, watch it as it changes day to day as different elements are added to it. And the image to the right, even though it's like a sunset and is a, a beautiful object, is a, a work of science. Um, it's a solar view from a satellite. And uh, one of the purposes of this, one of the purposes of me showing you this, is that the context of an image, again, is, is very important to the way that we view it. Um, and when you look at the one on the right and you think, man, that's a beautiful picture, um, you're not necessarily thinking of it as a work of science. So I want to do a little bit of a rewind, and I want to talk about uh, different ways of manipulating images and thinking about images, because we're going to get into a lot of this in great detail when we start to work with Photoshop. A process known as collage has been around as long as, pretty much as long as paper has been in existence. People have been cutting paper and moving paper, and uh, building things and building images with it. But at the beginning of the 20th century, it became part of contemporary art, where um, images that already existed in print were then taken and repurposed and rebuilt into new images. Another process that has been, um, has been used in image making is, just, is photo editing. Um, and with this, uh, we start to think about sort of like the, the veracity of the images, like, or what is the sort of the truth in, image, in the image. And what we're looking at here is two images um, from, the, from Stalin and from his, uh, his reign in Russia. And we notice that there's a, a person who's missing in it. And uh, what, what he did was, uh, as somebody fell from grace, or as, uh, as they became unpopular and were ousted, they were removed from uh, the history of it. They were removed from their connection with the great leader and their contribution to society was also sort of extracted. Um, now this is, uh, I mean, this is a really a blatant example, but there have also been uh, more recent examples in, uh, in contemporary newsmaking where the images were either staged or touched up a little bit after the fact. And so we question the authenticity of it. We question uh, what it's actually recording in reality.